Well, Indiana is falling behind when it comes to vaccinating younger Hoosiers against the coronavirus, and health experts are hoping it's a pattern we can still change. Right now, just over 28% of Hoosiers from the ages of 20 to 29 are fully vaccinated. You compare that to Ohio and Michigan, where slightly more within that age group have received the vaccine. And this isn't the only age group that's lagging behind. As you see here, vaccinations don't go above that 50% threshold until you get to the 50 plus and 60 plus age group. As the older population gets vaccinated, where can the disease spread? Where, where can COVID spread? It will spread now among more among the younger people. And so I think there's good reason to continue to want to get the message out that people should be vaccinated. That's exactly what Marion County health officials plan to do right now. Hoosiers age 20 to 39 make up 43 percent of new coronavirus cases in the county. In the coming weeks, the health department will launch this new campaign targeted specifically to this younger generation, and their plan does come with some incentives. Somebody's going to go come away with a $250 gift card from Simon Mall. We got some other prizes too. Colts tickets, gift cards are just a few of the things that will be available. The campaign will include Google ads and billboards. Now, in all, about 37% of people in Marion County are fully vaccinated. That's lagging behind all of the surrounding counties around Indianapolis. Marion County health leaders hope half the population gets fully vaccinated by the 4th of July. If that happens, they'll recommend removing all coronavirus restrictions that are now in place. Tonight we are starting to find out more about what the next school year will look like when in central Indiana in specific districts. We know of two local school districts so far that have announced masks will not be required among students or staff this fall. Center Grove and Westfield Washington schools announced masks will be optional. In fact, the CDC is recommending masks for students who are not vaccinated, but Governor Holcomb's latest executive order leaves the mask decision up to the school districts starting July 1st. It's a minor inconvenience, but I feel totally safe, you know, with, with her going to school without a mask on. I'm a little bit concerned for the people who do want to choose to wear a mask about bowling. That was a big issue that was brought up. Federal guidelines will still require masks on school buses. However, we did reach out to several other school districts tonight. Many of them say they plan to discuss this at their upcoming board meetings. Indianapolis Public Schools does plan to require masks, they say, through the summer. Then they will rely on guidance from the Marion County Health Department before IPS announces any plans for next year. All right, let's get back to that breaking news now that we brought you tonight at the top of the hour. An IMPD officer involved in a crash, and we can now take you to some live pictures here. This is near Bluff and Troy. This is the scene here on the city's near south side. You see police there uh, right now on the scene responding tonight just after 9 o'clock and a lot of damage that you're looking at to that vehicle right now. IMPD confirms that an officer was involved in this crash. We don't know yet the extent of any injuries that are involved, but Fanchin uh, certainly looks uh, like there's a lot of damage involved, yeah. in that, at least in that vehicle we can yeah. see right now. You can see just from the response, a number of officers responding to the scene and yeah. just the sheer force involved with that car. That car looks like it's literally crumpled. Um, but this was a very serious accident. And, and I think we see the yeah the officer's car the there, cruiser, perhaps on the, the off, cruiser there on the right side of to the, the screen. Right there. Not as much uh, damage if that is indeed the vehicle yeah. uh, that was involved. But uh, obviously, uh, anytime there's a serious accident, anytime there's an officer involved in an accident, you're definitely going to have uh, a big police response. They're out there right now trying to sort it all out. And we are hoping and yeah. praying that anyone involved is going to be okay. So Absolutely. let's just say a prayer for all those people. Um, who were involved and in we'll this keep crash. you posted as, as we do get more information tonight too. All right, it's been almost a month now since 